Welcome to the uh, subject Advanced Control Systems ELE 5 and 3 lecture uh, Control System Design. This is uh, starting the third unit in the prescribed syllabus that we have for the university. Uh, before I start the topic of Control System Design, uh, I'd like to briefly review what we have studied in the first two units. So we have had, an, had a basic understanding of what is the state space representation uh, we know the various canonical forms uh, in which the state space representation of a dynamical system is possible like the controllable canonical form the observable canonical form the diagonal form the jordan form We have talked a little bit about uh, controllability, observability of systems. We have also talked about solutions to the state equation. properties of the state transition matrix we have also done uh, diagonalization talked about similarity transformation eigenvalues eigenvectors this is a brief review of the topics so that uh, we understand where we are and in order to proceed further we'll have to uh, at least revise these topics so before uh, we start this control system design using state feedback one more thing which which we have basically studied in the previous course on control systems is what is a what is control system design for example So um, the basic objective, as you all know, is that you have a plant or a process and you want to control its performance using a controller, right? And you put that plant or a process normally in a feedback loop. You measure the output which you want to control using sensors. So this is your feedback loop and then control the dynamics of the process so here goes your input this is your output this is the plant of the process that you want to control this is your controller that you're trying to design and this part is your error here so your controller basically acts on the error that the plant generates when the desired output which is the input is subtracted from the output so this guide this kind of a control is the simplest one in which you put the controller just in cascade with the plant cascade configuration right so how does it actually change the properties of the plant or the output of the plant so to to make it very simple your plant has a transfer fun transfer function like like if your plant is if your plant is gs equal to some numerator divided by some pol denominator polynomial and your controller has its own transfer function so controller for example call it ms is some n1s divided by d1s then in this kind of a configuration the closed loop transfer function would cease to remain remain gs right so if it is not gs and that means you have basically manipulated the denominator right so in this case if this if let me draw it again so if this is your controller 
this is your plant this is your feedback so and this is negative feedback and you actually put your plant in this kind of loop the transfer function becomes uh, gs ms divided by 1 plus gs ms hs so this is your closed loop transfer function right so basically what you have done is you have manipulated the denominator of the transfer function and this is now in your control because you have control over the transfer function ms right so what we are actually trying to do when we're trying to control a system is to in a simple uh, manner we can say is to control the denominator of the closed loop transfer function to manipulate the denominator of the closed loop transfer function which is basically manipulating the manipulating the characteristic equation characteristic equation and manipulating the characteristic equation what you're actually doing is you're changing the location of the poles changing the location of the closed loop poles so when you're changing the location of the closed loop poles you're, you're controlling the behavior of the plant because as you all, all know for example if for a second order system in the s plane if you have poles uh, here real poles left half plane you have a critically damped system if you have poles here you have an under damped system if you have poles here for example right, <coughs> you have an over damped system if you have poles say on the j omega axis you have an undamped system and if you have poles say on the right half plane then you have an unstable system right so uh, by changing the location of the closed loop poles you can change the behavior of the system and here since you have control over the closed loop poles because you have control over the over the transfer function of the controller you can actually change the behavior of the closed loop system here and hence you are able to control the performance of the plant now how do you do in with reference to the uh, state space method that we have studied now I'll, I'll, I'll try to explain this with the help of an example so we have already seen the controllable canonical form representation right so I will take a system in the controllable canonical form and we'll see that we can actually manipulate the characteristic equation of this system very easily using a very simple control input right so let us say we have a system given by x dot is equal to ax plus bu y is equal to cx we are assuming that the system is CSO. we are assuming that there is no drift term d is zero and let us say that this system is available to us in the controllable canonical form so in for short ccf it is available to it, us in the ccf and for simplicity let us assume that it's a third order system right so so the a matrix we already know that in the controllable canonical form the a matrix would look something like this 0 1 0 0 0 1 minus a0 minus a1 minus a2 your b matrix would be 0 0 1 and your c matrix is going to be depending upon the numerator it's going to be b1 say for example b1 let us call it beta 1, beta 2, and beta 3, for example, which is given by the numerator polynomial of the transfer function. Right? So, here the C matrix is not important because uh, we are trying to actually con control the denominator polynomial. So, 
what is the what is the characteristic equation for this system you already know that this system actually has this in the denominator these coefficients in the denominator right so the characteristic equation for this system since it's a third order system would be something like this f cube plus a2 s squared plus a1s plus a0 equal to 0 so this is a characteristic equation for this system now the behavior of the system would be primarily governed by this characteristic equation because this determines the location of the close of the poles of the system right so is there a way in which we can manipulate the characteristic equation using the input that you are applying to the system right so you can we apply a control input u so that the characteristic equation of the system changes and it behaves in the way that we want it to behave right please understand that for control this plant this plant in this configuration we don't have control over the a matrix over the b matrix or the c matrix because these are plant features these are plant characteristics what we can do is can change u to control the behavior of the plant right so so the question is what u what u the input right can be used can be used to manipulate the characteristic equation which in this case is this right so let me take a very simple uh, u and see whether that helps in manipulating the characteristic equation right? so what i do is let us take a u which is given by a linear combination of the states so the u that i want to take is minus k1 x1 minus k2 x2 minus k3 x3 or in other words u is minus k1 k2 k3 x where x is the state vector x1 x2 x3 so if i take this kind of u what is going to happen to my system right so if i if i if i put this equation in the original equation right what do i get so i i call this u is equal to minus k a uh, capital k x where capital k is k1 k2 k3 so my actual system is x dot is equal to ax plus du i have applied a control input in order to control in order to control the behavior of the system and that control input is given by u is equal to minus kx now what what is going to happen to the system i know by substituting this here this is capital k for that so so when i do this i get x dot is equal to ax minus b k x right that is x dot is equal to a minus b k x so let us simplify this a minus b k b as you already know in this case is 0 0 1 and you when, when you multiply this b with k what you should get is 0 0 1 into minus k1 minus k2 minus k3 right which is 0 0 0 0 0 0 minus k1 minus k2 minus k3 so this is your bk and if you do a minus bk you're getting right you see a matrix is this and we have to subtract it from we have to subtract bk from it so this is so this is let's see the a matrix 0 1 0 0 0 1 minus a 0 minus a 1 minus a 2 minus bk right this is minus bk huh? so minus bk means this 0 0 0 0 0 0 you already taken taken account of the sign minus here right because k is k1 k2 k3 minus bk would be 0 0 1 into minus k1 minus k2 k3 right 
so this is minus k1 minus k2 minus k3 and this gives us a minus bk is equal to right 0 1 0 0 0 1 minus a 0 minus k1 minus a1 minus k2 minus a2 minus k3 so this is a minus bk and my system and my closed loop system has the state equation given by this right so this is my a minus bk and my equation now is x star is equal to a minus bk x right where a minus bk is given by this so my system becomes this and the a minus bk matrix is defined like this we are not interested right now in the output equation so the next question is what is the characteristic equation for a state space representation which is given by this when the a minus b make bk matrix is given by this right so as you can see from from the matrix this a minus bk matrix is also in the controllable canonical form so we can straight away write the characteristic equation for the for this transform system that we have so the characteristic equation would be given by would have coefficients which would be, which are here in the denominator right so just like we wrote the characteristic equation for our a matrix we wrote it like this similarly we can write down the characteristic equation for our a minus bk matrix right so this was the last coefficient this was this this was the one up before it and this was the first one in a similar way so you have you can write s cube plus now these are multiplied with minus one so you get a2 plus k3 s square plus a1 plus k2 s plus a0 plus k1 equal to 0 so, so this is the characteristic equation for your system the system characteristic equation has changed now your system is represented like this and the characteristic equation is this so suppose you wanted it to have a characteristic equation in order to in order to uh, satisfy certain performance measures you wanted the system to have a control system to have a characteristic equation given by s cube plus say alpha 3 s alpha 2 s square plus alpha 1 s plus alpha 0 equal to 0 so suppose this was required so your original system had a characteristic equation given by this and because of this it had a certain behavior and you wanted want it to have a characteristic equation given by this so that your behavior changes now what you have done with the help of this state feedback is that you have changed the characteristic equation to this so the only thing that you need to do is to is to equate the coefficients right so so from this you have a2 plus k3 is equal to alpha 2 a1 plus k2 is equal to alpha 1 a0 plus k1 is equal to alpha 0 and you can get k1 is equal to alpha 0 minus a0 k2 is equal to alpha 1 minus a1 k3 is equal to alpha 2 minus a2 so if k1 is this k2 is this k3 is this then the new characteristic equation for the system is going to be this so actually with the help of the state feedback u is equal to minus kx what you have done is that the system x star is equal to ax plus bu has been transformed into a system x star is equal to a minus this was small b and this was capital k a minus b k x and this a minus b k x now has the characteristic equation which is required which is given by this the only thing that you need to choose is k and if you choose k properly that is k is given by alpha 0 minus a 0 alpha 1 minus a 1 alpha 2 minus a 2 